Soutenu is a term in classical ballet which means sustained. The ballet dancer turns into sous or in fifth position on pointe and ends up with the opposite foot in front. In this video, we will be discussing the seven stances included in a soutenu. We will be looking at the position of your spine, hips, knees, ankles, shoulders, and your elbows at each given stance and the prime muscles involved at each body segments when you are performing the actions. The first stance includes tombe croise en avant. At your spine, there will be a concentric extension by your erector spinae muscles, which are your spinalis, longissimus, and iliocostalis. Your spine will be stabilized by the eccentric contraction of your abdominals. Now at your hips, there is a concentric right hip flexion by your iliopsoas, rectus femoris, and sartorius. There is also a bilateral external rotation of the hips by your gluteus maximus, deep lateral rotators, and sartorius. Now your sartorius externally rotates the hip, especially with hip flexion. Now to achieve and maintain external rotation of the hip, you have to strengthen the deep lateral rotators or you may stretch the hip internal rotators, capsules, and anterior ligaments. Lastly, there is also a left hip extension by your hamstrings and gluteus maximus. Now, at your knees, there is a slight concentric right knee flexion by your hamstrings. This will be stabilized by your quadriceps. There is also a concentric left knee extension by your quadriceps femoris. Now, to prevent excessive extension of the knee or what you call a knee hyperextension, you have to strengthen the quadriceps, hamstrings, and deep lateral rotators. Now, at your ankle and foot, there is a concentric right dorsiflexion by your tibialis anterior and external digitorum longus. And on your left, there is a concentric plantar flexion by your gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. Now, to prevent insufficient plantar flexion of the foot, we have to strengthen the ankle plantar flexors and the intrinsic muscles that support the medial longitudinal arc of the foot. These intrinsic muscles are your tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitorum longus and flexor digitorum brevis and you also have to stretch the dorsiflexors of the foot now at your shoulders there is a concentric bilateral abduction done by your middle deltoid and supraspinatus to prevent rounded shoulders you have to stretch the shoulder internal rotators and horizontal adductors and you have to strengthen the scapular adductors external rotators and thoracic extensors lastly there is also a concentric bilateral horizontal abduction of your shoulders by your teres minor and posterior deltoid. Now, at your elbows, there is a concentric bilateral slight flexion by your biceps brachii and brachialis. The second stance includes to dummy run the back of the leg on the dawn to second, bringing the body on fast and opening the arms a la Sagan. At your spine, there is a concentric extension by your erector spinae muscles and it will be stabilized by the eccentric contraction of your abdominals. Now at your hips, there is a concentric right hip flexion by the iliopsoas, rectus femoris, and sartorius. There is also a concentric bilateral external rotation of the hip by your gluteus maximus, deep lateral rotators, and sartorius. Again, your sartorius externally rotates rotates the hip especially with hip flexion. To achieve and maintain external rotation of the hip, you will have to strengthen the deep lateral rotators or stretch the hip 
internal rotator, capsules, and anterior ligaments. Lastly, there is a concentric left hip abduction by your gluteus medius and gluteus maximus. Now, at your knees, there is a concentric right knee flexion by your hamstrings. It will be stabilized by your quadriceps femoris. On the left, there is a concentric knee extension by your quadriceps femoris. Now, at your ankle and foot, there is a concentric right dorsiflexion by your tibialis anterior and extensor digitorum longus. And there is a concentric left plantar flexion by your gastrocnemius and soleus. At your shoulders, there is a concentric bilateral abduction to nearly 90 degrees by your middle deltoid and supraspinatus. And at your elbows, there is a concentric bilateral extension by your triceps brachii. The third stance includes to close the leg front into fifth croise en relevé, closing to first and turning up stage. At your spine, there is still a concentric extension by your erector spinae muscles and to be stabilized by the eccentric contraction of your abdominals. At your hips, there is a slight concentric extension on the right by your hamstrings and gluteus maximus. There is also a concentric bilateral external rotation of your hips by your gluteus maximus, deep six lateral rotators, and sartorius. And there is a slight concentric left hip flexion by your iliopsoas, rectus femoris, and sartorius. At your knees, there is a concentric bilateral extension by your quadriceps femoris. At your ankle and foot, there is a concentric bilateral plantar flexion by your gastrocnemius and soleus. At your shoulders, there is a concentric bilateral flexion by your pectoralis major clavicular portion and anterior deltoid. And... There is also a concentric bilateral adduction by your pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, and latissimus dorsi. And at your elbow, there is a slight concentric bilateral flexion by your biceps brachii and brachialis. The fourth to sixth stance includes to transfer the weight onto the front foot, continuing to turn up stage readjusting the back foot around the fifth in front and lifting the arms to fifth on it. At your spine, there is still a concentric extension by your erector spinae muscles and to be stabilized by the eccentric contraction of your abdominals. Now at your hips, there is a slight concentric flexion on the right by your iliopsoas, rectus femoris, and sartorius. There is a concentric bilateral external rotation by your gluteus maximus, deep lateral rotators, and sartorius. There is also a slight concentric extension on the left by your hamstrings and gluteus maximus. Now at your knees, there is a concentric bilateral extension by your quadriceps femoris. And at your ankle and foot, there is a concentric bilateral plantar flexion by your gastrocnemius and soleus. Now at your shoulders, there is a concentric bilateral abduction by your middle deltoid and supraspinatus. And there is a concentric bilateral flexion by your pectoralis major clavicular portion and anterior deltoid. And at your elbow, there is a concentric slight flexion bilaterally by your biceps brachii and brachialis. The seventh stance includes to finish in fifth on the mipont, opening the arms on the oar to second. At your spine, 
there is still a concentric extension by your erector spinae muscles and to be stabilized by the eccentric contraction of your abdominals. At your hips, there is a slight concentric flexion on the right by your iliopsoas, rectus femoris, and sartorius. There is also a concentric bilateral external rotation of your gluteus maximus, deep lateral rotators, and sartorius. And there is a slight concentric extension on your left hip by your hamstrings and gluteus maximus. Now, at your knees, there is a concentric bilateral extension by your quadriceps femoris. At your ankle and foot, there is a concentric bilateral plantar flexion by your gastrocnemius and soleus. And at your shoulders, there is a concentric bilateral abduction by your middle deltoid and supraspinatus. And there is also a concentric bilateral horizontal abduction by your teres minor and posterior deltoid. And lastly, at your elbow, there is a concentric bilateral slight flexion by your biceps brachii and brachialis.